Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are unmaking over our rental home. If you guys missed last week's video, I have a big announcement. I let you guys know that we are moving to Nashville and actually I filmed that video over a month ago and we already moved. <laughs> so I am in my new rental and yes, the walls in this rental are, they look very gray right now. They're a little bit more blue gray. So we are gonna be making some changes to the rental, not a lot, but anyways. This video isn't about this rental. This video is about the home you guys have just watched me make over for the last seven months. So if you guys have questions, why are we moving? What the heck you moved? Everything, anything you guys are wondering, please go watch last week's video because I talk all about it over there. So if you missed it, I will link it down below. We moved in a pretty quick amount of time. And so I didn't film as much of this process as I wanted to, but I am going to share with you guys the couple things we had to unmake over to get this rental back in order. Let's start with the first thing that we did. The first thing we really needed to do was finish our kitchen reno. So if you guys don't know, we renoed the kitchen um, I can link all these videos down below. It was such a fun process renewing this kitchen. What we never did was basically add trim and paint the cabinets on the opposite wall. And we wanted to be good stewards and finish what we started. So this kitchen being kind of mismatched, we wanted to go ahead and finish our upper cabinets. So here is the whole journey of doing that. taken doors out to the garage and he is going to be adding the trim onto them and I am going to get started taping off the ceiling and a couple areas so that we can paint that part. is all finished and we need to get things painted. actually remove our kitchen countertops contact paper. So we officially move in like five days and so the kitchen is like a mess. That always happens with the kitchen when half of the things are packed. You still need some things so it's just a mess. <laughs> um, we are gonna stay at my mom's so we're not even in this house for a full day, five days. We're gonna stay at my parents' house for like two days. Anyways, this is beside the point. It's time to take off our contact paper countertops. So this is, there's only a couple things 
that we were having to reinstall and things like that. But taking off this contact paper is one of the bigger things we have to do. And it's not even gonna be that big of a deal, I hope, so. I did want to tell you guys, cause I know I would get asked, um, I wanted to share how these have held up. So I think we've had them for three months, four months. So it's really not that long as far as like with standing the test of time, but the contact paper has totally been great. There's a couple, this was accidentally like a glue spot we got that hasn't been able to come off. And then uh, like, I think this just happened, like a stain and I wasn't able to wipe it off. And the only hole we had, which happened pretty much upon installation, is this one, but there's been no other holes. I will say, without silicone, this would not have held up. This would have all gotten wet, and actually, some of the silicone peeled off, so we were gonna have to reapply. <laughs> Sorry about my dirty dishes, but you know, we live here. Um, so anyways, if you do this, make sure you use silicone to really waterproof. That's why this is yellow. This is like, we should have used like a white silicone if they make that, but this one's kind of clear and turned yellow, which is weird, but anyways, it doesn't matter. It's held up pretty good. I think it would have lasted months more. I don't think anything long, long term, but I think it would have been fine for at least a year. Okay, a quick check-in. Number one, this is not sticky at all. So that's amazing. <laughs> there's a few, like there's a line right here of little stickiness that can come off with a tiny little spray. So this is like not sticky at all. Countertop is fully intact. This is our own little paint mess up from when we painted the walls. So um, we just need to use some goof off, or not goof off, uh, off or whatever it's called. The stuff that gets the paint off <laughs> and we'll clean that up. And obviously our wall is really dirty. I'm sure you guys saw that. We always have to magic eraser with our children eating here. This is very hard to pull up. My husband's not home right now, otherwise I would make him do it. So other than muscle power, this contact paper is coming up and it's, yeah, it's like the countertop looks perfect still. contrasting countertop and I thought this actually looks really good with this darker countertop and we hope that future tenants enjoy it because I think it really tied the kitchen together in like a new way having this nice contrast so the white on the cream and everything was really nice and I love a bright kitchen but I actually really enjoyed this darker countertop so let me know what you guys think. The next thing we needed to do is actually switch out two pendant lights. I didn't get tons of footage of this, but we did have a, we did switch out our dining room pendant light and our bedroom pendant light. So we needed to put those back to the original light fixtures. Um, luckily my husband is a very handy man <laughs> and knows how to do this stuff, but we didn't film it all. I think between balancing our three kids, electrical work <laughs> and needing my help to kind of hold up the light. I don't think we really filmed much of it. But the time has come. <laughs> we have our kids table and chairs out here right now. We sold our antique table, made a little bit of money for this move. And <laughs> so until we move, we have the kids table and chairs for our children to eat at. Um, anyways, it is time to switch out the lights. We loved having this light. This is the one that the house came with, so it's time to put it back. And another thing we did is put our closet doors back on. We removed our closet doors because these closet doors were just 
we didn't love them. They didn't always open the whole way and like they were just always in the way and it was hard to use the closet, with these closet doors. So we actually took them off in both my bedroom and my son's room. We reinstalled the closet doors. <laughs> there was no issues there. We just put them back on and by we, I mean my husband, I was no help at all. We also had two doors that we had chosen to paint white when we painted our living room. One was a closet door and the other was like our kitchen door area. And both of those, we, for whatever reason, oh, I know why. We only gave them one coat of paint because my husband actually took them off and wanted to go paint them in the garage. But when we did that, it was literally the dead of winter and was freezing. And so the paint wasn't drying well. So we put, took them back inside, hung them back up, and then never finished painting them and the entire time we lived there. So literally <laughs> two days, or the day before we moved out, we were like, <laughs> My husband actually um, was painting doors and, you know, painting doors and touching up stuff like that, touching up trim. That brings us to, did we have any issues on making over this house? And there was really only two things we ran into that I'm going to tell you that I don't recommend. One is, you know, on a TV, you can buy that little like cord cover and I can put a little picture in so you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's basically for renters who can't, you know, drill a hole into the wall and string your cords through and drill another hole. He bought that little like renter thing and it comes with like a peel thing. You just peel it and stick it to your wall. And I assumed that because it was just a little peel thing, you just stick it, that we would have no issues. That little sticky thing we did not anticipate it basically like just messing up the wall behind it. It like left all the sticky residue that we had to like scrape off the wall and then we had to do paint touch-ups. The whole thing kind of like sand where it was. It was like a mess just from this little strip of like stickiness. So what I realized in hindsight is a lot of people use command strips on the back of those and not the sticky adhesive that it comes with. So if you use one of those, use just command strips behind it and not the adhesive. And then another thing that was also very random, on one of our door frames, I installed this like squishy thing because my daughter was using her bouncer in the door frame and we wanted to just have the door frame like have this squishy stuff on the side for her. Again, it was like an Amazon peel off the stuff and I just assumed that it's like peel on, peel off, but nope, left lots of sticky residue. Luckily we did that a couple days before. So my husband literally had to sand off all the sticky residue, patch and repaint. We already had to do paint touch ups when he was doing the doors. So thankfully he just painted those when he was painting the doors and it wasn't a big deal. But those two things left sticky residue and now I am forever, <laughs> forever scarred from using something that just has its own peel off sticky thing other than contact paper. <laughs> so my advice is just use command hook strips like you can stick them onto things because I have used command hooks for years in my other and other rentals and stuff and always been able to pull and leave no residue, no issues, like works great. Yeah, that is actually everything. So that kind of concludes our unmaking over the home slash kind of needing to finish makeovering the kitchen. <laughs> of course, moving and needing to do things around the house like that with three kids when you're moving very quickly. It was a chaotic two weeks. There was so much going on for us that I didn't want to add the big announcement of we're moving. I just wanted to move with the family, keep it just us and everything going on. And then I felt mentally prepared to tell you guys. So again, if you missed their big announcement about why we moved and everything, you can check out last week's video. <laughs> My children are giggling. But I hope you enjoyed hearing about us unmaking over our rental. We had so much fun making it over. I'm gonna make, I have a whole rental made home playlist. If you guys have missed that, um, you know, go check it out. Really happy with how all the little transformations turned out. And now it was time to unmake them over. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith.home. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.
Bye.